Good day, one and all. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. And remember to see our website, WSKITV.com, for this forecast serving the main High Peaks region all year round. Brought to you by Geppetto's. And for Sunday, another chilly day on the mountain. It may be the 1st of February, but it thinks it's still January. Minus 7 to minus 3 at the summit, plus 3 to plus 7 at the base. Winds, again, a little bit noticeable, but hopefully won't interfere with running any of the lifts. Maybe Timberline. And Monday, another chilly day with a chance of some additional snow, minus 9 to minus 5 at the summit, minus 2 to plus 2 at the base, and you can bet that snow will be a very fluffy powder once again like the past couple of storms, so bring it on. Tuesday, another day of cold temperatures, partly sunny skies with a low of minus 7 at the top and a high of plus two at the base and then Wednesday oh 24 degrees that'll seem like summer with a chance of more light snow and then Thursday a chance of flurries a little bit cooler with a high of 17. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail report and we're looking at 141 trails and trail sections 69 will be groomed on Saturday evening and hopefully all lifts good to go on Sunday packed powder and powder is what you'll find out there extensive grooming in the center part of the mountain everything down below in the beginner areas will be done to nice sweet corduroy for you and they also expect to go to a lot up top buckskin cinder hole bridal chain lower timber line spur line as well as the usual mid mountain trails and on the east side they will get to ripsaw tonight they didn't quite get to it last night hallback choker flume widowmaker ram down all on the list as well as many of the trails off of whiffle tree and the same goes for the trails off of bucksaw everything but glancer will be groomed tonight for a look at the lifts on Sunday, expect Snubber to start up at 8 o'clock, getting you up to the base area nice and early. At 8.30, Sawduster and Skidway serving the beginner terrain. Hopefully, Mooscalator good to go at 9 o'clock. At 8.30, both double runner sides are be ready, will be ready to go, as well as number 3 T-Bar as needed, especially if the breezes do prevent some of those upper lifts from operating. And also at 8 o'clock, they hope to get West Mountain going on Sunday. 8.30, for the Super Quad and Skyline, and at 9 o'clock, Timberline and Bucksaw to follow. Hopefully, winds will not be an issue. Tune into our live show first thing on Sunday morning to see what the latest news is from the mountain. Whiffletree and King Pine on the east side, hopefully good to go at 8.30 as well. Whiffletree serves beginner and intermediate terrain, whereas King Pine is for more advanced skiers and riders. No matter how cold and windy it is on the hill, it's always nice down at the outdoor center. When you're cross-country skiing, you work up you, the warmth in you and you stay down in the trees and it's just a fabulous alternate on a chilly day. Likewise, get out in snowmobile. Conditions are fabulous with all this great snow. So get out and enjoy the miles and miles of excellent riding we have all around the main High Peaks region. And don't forget, coming up this week, kicking off on Thursday night with a cribbage tournament and great polar silent auction at the Stratton Plaza is the Polar Blast for 2015. That'll be happening throughout next weekend on Saturday as well. WSKITV.com is our website. We can let you know what's happening throughout the main high peaks region all year round we're here with your local recreational forecast and tons of information on things to do